Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this REST Assured AP testing tutorial, I am going to discuss about how to pass cookies data in REST Assured API testing. So be before we go ahead and create the REST Assured API request, let's look at the manual test scenario. Then we'll create the REST Assured API request. So I will go to the Postman tool now. So here I'm using uh, cookies using Postman API. And here we are passing the HTTP method as uh, get and followed by the endpoint that is postman-echo.com followed by cookies and uh, set. And after that, so inside the cookies, we have added the multiple cookies data over here. And then we are hitting the send button. And we are getting the 200 as a status code from the web server. And also we are getting the API response body from the web server. So let's automate this scenario. We will see how to pass the cookies data in the API request using the REST Assured. So I will go to the Eclipse IDE and here I will create the one simple class and inside that I'm going to create the one test ng test. So inside that com.testautomation.apitesting.tests inside this package I'm creating a simple class called here I'm typing just class I'm selecting the test ng class and then I'm providing the class name as cookies. Then I will click on finish. So here we got the cookies Java class. And here I will rename the test method name as cookies API test. So that's it guys. Now let's start creating the rest assured API test. Here I'm using rest assured followed by dot given. So inside the given here, I'm calling to the method called cookies. So if you look at here, so this is the overloaded method where we can pass the different types of arguments. So we'll see just by passing the key and value that is the cookie name and uh, cookie value. So after that, we'll see how to pass the multiple cookies data in the API request as well. So here I'm just selecting the cookie as a method. And after that, inside I'm passing the two parameters. So we have to specify, specify the cookie name and followed by the cookie value. And if you look at here in the Postman tool, so skill one is the cookie name. And inside this one, we are having the respective value as well, right? So we have to specify the key and followed by the value. So that's the reason. Here I'm passing the first argument as skill one as and I'm passing the value as rest assured by tester stock. That's it. So here we have added only one cookie data. So we'll try to add the multiple cookies data in the later in this session. So as of now, I'm adding only one cookie data. And followed by here I'm calling to the method called base URI where we are specifying the endpoint. So I will copy the endpoint from the Postman tool. And I will copy this endpoint and I'll paste it here. So that's it. And here I'm using again when keyword and followed by. So we are making the get API call. And followed by that, I'm using the then keyword. Inside this one, I'm validating the status code as 200. Here I'm saying status code as 200. That's it. So if I run this API test and uh, this test will get passed because there are no errors in this Java class. And also we are passing the all the correct details over here. So let's run it and then we will pass the another set of cookie data in the API request. So I will run this API test now. We will check whether this test is working fine or not. So let me put the semicolon at the end of the status code method. Now I will run this API test. So 
So our test is running and if you look at here, total test run is one and that is getting passed, right? So let's cross check what are the details it is passing onto the web server. So after the line number 15, here I'm printing the logs by calling to the method call, called log and followed by I will say all. So this will print all the API request details in the console output. So once again, I will run this API test. And this time it will print all the details. So what are the details it is sending to the web application server or the web servers. And if you look at here, so what is the request method name and what is our URI, we are hitting it and followed by the all the parameters. So it is passing the headers. And if you look at here, we are having the cookies data. As of now, it is passing only skill one as rest assured API, sorry, rest assured by test stock it is passing. So, so it is passing all the details properly. That means it is passing the cookies data to the web server properly by using the rest assured. Now let's try to add the another set of cookies data. So here I'm saying cookies, sorry, cookie and followed by the parameters I'm passing it. So here I'll say key as skill two and I'll specify the value as postman by tester stock. So that's it. Let's run this API test. This time it should pass both the cookies data to the web server. So let's run this API test now. And if you look at here under the cookies, so our test is getting passed. And if you see here inside the cookies, so it is passing the skill one as rest assured by tester stock. And also it is passing the another cookie data that is postman by tester stock, right? So this is how you can pass the cookies data in the API request using the rest assured library. For example, if you are having the 100 API test, how you can pass this cookies data, right? So it is very difficult to maintain and manage as well, right? So what we can do is we can optimize the code by creating a simple util method. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a simple util method where we can pass the multiple sets of cookies data so that basically that particular util method will returns the all the cookies data. For example, if I'm having 10 or 15 cookies data, simply it will returns all the 10 or 15 cookies data whenever I call that particular method. So here I'm what I'm doing is here I'm going to the one of the util class here I'm going to the rest API helper class. Let's implement a simple util method that returns us the all the cookies data. So here I'm saying public static followed by map. So here this method is returning the hash map object. So that's the reason here I'm writing it as a map and followed by get cookies data. I'm providing the method name as get cookies data. And after that, let's add the return statement. That's it. Now, here I'm creating the object of hash map new. And here I'll say hash map. I'll specify the generic type as string string. And I will ascend back to the map interface. So here I'll say map and I'll specify the generic type and I'll say the cookie as the reference variable name. And finally, I will pass this hash map object onto the return statement. So whenever I call this get cookies data, so it should return me the this particular hash map object. So by using this hash map object, I will put all my cookies data inside this one by using the put method. So here we have to specify the key and followed by the value. So here I'll say skill one. And like this, I will add another two skills. So here I'll say skill two and skill three. So we are creating the three set of cookies data and I will pass the value one by one. Skill one, I'm adding it as rest assured by tester stock and I will add the skill to as postman by tester stock 
and I will add the skill 3 as spec flow by test as stock. So that's it guys. So we have created the simple util method that will return the all the cookies data. So now I will go back to the our cookies class and here simply I will delete this all the stuff and inside this one. So instead of calling cookie just cookie method here I'm calling to the method called cookies. So if simply I'll delete this part. So previously just we were calling to the method called just cookie and now we are calling to the method called cookies right. So where we can pass the hash map object right. So if you look at the second method it is accepting the hash map object right. So here I'm using directly the REST API helper dot the followed by the util method name. So I'm using the REST API helper dot followed by get cookies data right. That's it guys. Let's delete the line and I will save this API test now and this time in the console output we should be able to see three sets of cookies data this particular API call should pass on to the web server or the application server. Now I will run this API test and I will maximize the console output as well. And if you look at in the API request, request details, so it is passing all the cookies data skill one skill three as so here we have the skill one skill two and the skill three it is passing all the respective data if you look at here and also it is our test is also getting passed right there are no failures so this is how you can pass the cookies data in the rest assured api testing and also this is how you can optimize your code when you are having a n number of cookies data in the apis This is Bakapa. Welcome to API testing full course. You can access all the exercises which we have done in the whole API testing course. I have already provided this uh, link in the video description. So anyone can access this link and also you can get the whole collections and also the envir environment variable details. So you can take that URL which is there in the description of this below video and paste it in the web browser. And after that, so once it is opened, so you need to export this uh, collections into the your local system. So it will open like this after ex accessing the link. So this is a public access URL which which I have shared it. You can <clears throat> click on this booking API. You can see all the APIs are there inside the two folders. So what you can do is you can click on this three dots and you can export it. So you can click on this export and firstly you can export this booking API collection and after that on the right side you can select the booking API environment and after that click on this icon and click on the edit then you can click on three dots and you can click on this export. So this will export the environment variable details. So after exporting it so you will get the these two files. And once once you have the, these two files, you can go to the postman and you can click on this import and make sure you are there in this uh, file tab 
and you can click on choose files and you can select the first week collection that's the postman collection and you can open it and after that you can click on import so firstly you can load the postman collection and after that you can load the environment details so as i have already these apis in my system i don't want to import it and this is how you can get the exercise which we have done in the api testing full course you can find all the code which i have discussed in the rest assured api testing full course you can search with the backup and github in the google.com and here you can go to the my github repository and over here in the repositories tab you will find the rest assured api testing framework you can go inside the this repository and you can click on this code and you can copy this uri and by using this uri and you can simply use the git in your local machine and you can simply clone it by using the git clone and followed by that specify the url so you will get the whole code which i have discussed in the rest assured api testing full course